Hello guys, or welcome. My name is Dana and this is a reading for Taurus. You do not have to be a Taurus. If you were just called to the title of this video, then there's probably something in it for you. Um, oh, a feather. Oh my god, it's like the tiniest little feather. I doubt you guys will see it, but it's like so little. Okay. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, maybe that was a sign for you guys. Um, maybe you're seeing feathers right now. Anyway, um, like I said, this is a timeless reading. Um, if you're drawn to the title, then there's probably something in it for you. You don't have to be a Taurus. I got so distracted there. <laughs> okay, anyway. So, Taurus. I've... I don't know why I pulled the spread a little bit different and I also did something oh that makes so much sense okay so when I was meditating during your pre-shuffle I kept hearing the alchemist the alchemist the alchemist and it's so funny I actually just finished reading like about a week ago the book the alchemist um and but I think this has to do with you I think you're the alchemist um and what I did was I combined my two, like, favorite decks, which is the Mystical Shaman, the Mystical Shaman, and my Angels and Ancestors Oracle. And I think that's got to do with something you're doing. You need to be combining, combining something together, two things. You need to alchemize something and combine something to create whatever it is you're trying to create as i saw like it was two minutes and two seconds on the clock as i said that okay so there's two things that need to be combined in order for you to create some sort of alchemy to get whatever it is that you want okay so i didn't pull my spread like how i usually do i just when i combine the deck sticks I realized I'm just gonna pull cards so in the top row you got two rows of cards here and they're kind of like they're kind of very similar actually um, like the top row is similar to the bottom row almost as if it's like repeating it but it's similar but different um, okay so anyways let me just get into it at the bottom of the deck Okay, okay, okay. This is okay. At the bottom of the deck, you guys have the stag. Now, if you watched, I did a new moon video yesterday. Also, oh my word, Taurus, it's the Taurus new moon today, and I'm doing your reading. <laughs> amazing. Okay, amazing. Um, okay, well, clearly there's something in that as well. I hope you guys, there's obviously something you're trying to achieve. Um, and it's important for you to set those intentions because that's what the new moon is all about. Um, whenever you come to this video, if there's no new moon at the time, that's totally okay. You can set intentions whenever. Um, and clearly, if you are the alchemist of your own life, you can create whatever the fuck it is you want. Sorry for swearing. Okay, anyway. So, the stag. Now, yesterday, how the stag keeps coming through for me in the last, like, two weeks is as an amplifier of energy. How, and yesterday, that message transformed into how your connection to the divine and your connection to, like, the, um, I actually think it's, like, the mysteries of life. Like, your connection to higher energies now. This, okay, yeah, so the connection... That you have with higher energies is what is going to amplify your ability to create whatever it is that you want to create. Um, the, there's also something, yeah, it's definitely about manifestation. It's got to do with your commitment to something. And I think it's also got to, got to do with um, realizing how much power how much power you really have that you have gathered and gained 
throughout lifetimes of existing. Um, yeah, okay. So that is, like, that's what that channeling that energy in will do, okay, to help the alchemist, which is you. <laughs> okay, anyway. So the first card you got was the arrow, okay? And underneath that, you got the blade. So what the i feel like this is guidance coming through these two cards is i mean because they're both weapons they're both they're both okay so the the science of alchemy is um melting things down into a liquid state in order to reshape and re carve you know and remake it into something of use um so actually in the book the alchemist uh the I don't want to give away the book, but the the whole the the ability of an alchemist is that he can turn any metal lead into gold. Okay, which I think is what is coming through for you. I think you have an ability to turn whatever it is you're trying to create into gold, whatever that is for you. Okay, so this is this is what I was saying is that a blade, an arrow head gets melted down in order to create it into something that can be useful and i see that coming through here now the other thing that was coming through with these cards was um i think there's a limiting you might have some like limiting beliefs when it comes to like trusting that you actually have this ability or that you can even achieve whatever it is but you have an ability to fucking create gold with whatever it is that you set an intention with. And I think this this new moon being your new moon, like the Taurus new moon, is the perfect opportunity for you to like take advantage of the energies playing out around you. I don't think you realize how amplified, how amplified your abilities are right now. I think it's very important for you to take some action. Both the arrow and the blade are about taking action, but it's also about cutting shit out of your life that is no, like that, that isn't going to serve you moving forward. That's all that self doubt, um, like limited beliefs and thinking that you you can't do it or you've you know, that sort of stuff. It needs to go. It's not going to help you here trying to move forward. Um, what is going to help you move forward is your magical alchemical abilities now the next thing that came through okay so that's the guidance i think i think there's also yeah I'm, okay so there's okay that's the that's the guidance i think coming through with those two cards is is that it's important for you to trust right now um and then i also think there are people because the book in the book, the kid goes out to find the alchemist. And while he does this, he becomes the alchemist. Um, but he's going out to find the alchemist who is going to be a teacher for him, who is going to guide him through this. And that is, like, the arrow also represents a certain amount of, like, action, you know? Forward momentum, moving towards something. So I think there's also something about finding people in the physical world who are, will actually be able to assist you in learning and guide you through whatever it is that you need to be moving through. I hope that makes sense. Because <laughs> like, I don't even know what's going on. Okay. So the next two cards, well, the next card you got was the Shield Maiden. But then underneath that, you got the Traveler. Okay, and there's also something about this um, being cloaked like this because, okay, I'll show you at the end. At the end, you also have the oracle again. Okay, I'll come to that card, but notice how they're both cloaked in this red. Now, I think that has to do with understanding or even just intending and setting an intention to protect yourself and surround yourself again in this like divine energy um you are protected and if you can just enforce that and trust that and even set a further intention on that 
you will be protected moving forward on wherever it is you're trying to get to. So, okay, the things coming through about this, because it seems to be tied in with the book of the alchemist. So I really, really, really hope I'm not like spoiling this book too much for you. But anyway, so the whole reason this kid goes out on a journey as a traveler is because he discovers like it's almost like an angelic presence comes and tells him that he has a personal legend and your personal legend is that thing inside of you that cannot be taken away from you and it's it's almost like your purpose and your mission in life and you can't even explain why it is but you just have this inkling knowing and understanding that you have to move towards it regardless if it doesn't seem like logical at all um and his was to move towards to go to the pyramids but he was in i think it was like spain so he had a lot of traveling to do and it, a lot of the book is about his journey there so i think and his personal legend was anyway it doesn't matter so <laughs> i think this is about your own personal legend this is oh as i said that 11 11 <laughs> cool 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 okay it's about you coming into alignment with your own personal legend, your life's mission and purpose that is destined for you, okay? And it's important for you to now trust the situation and make plans. Notice these are both feminine energies as well. So male, female, doesn't matter, but your feminine energy is the receptive energy. The part of yourself that is open to receiving guidance, receiving information. But also, in this card, she's a very action-orientated feminine. So she has no problem. Oh my word, the biggest, like, yellow, orange butterfly. Like, no, that is a yellow butterfly. Wow. Just flew in front of me. Okay, there are so many signs and synchronicities in this video. The feather in the beginning, this butterfly now. Okay, yellow is a sign of like joy and excitement, but also for me, what I'm hearing is hope. Like it's important for you to have a sense of hope right, <clears throat> hope right now. Okay, so the shield maiden, she makes a plan and she focuses. She has a very strong focused intention on moving towards something, getting something done, taking action. Remember, there's something about the blade, the blade and the, like, the physical, maybe it'll come through, okay. But if this is resonating and it makes sense to you and your story, then, you know, perfect. If it doesn't, don't make it fit. This part of the message might not be for you. Okay, so anyways, so make a plan about where it is that you want to be traveling to right now, where it is you want to be moving to right now. This could also just be about you going and doing an internal journey. This butterfly. <laughs> transformation. Okay, you're going through also a phase of transformation. This phase of transformation, just like the kid in The Alchemist, he had to go on this journey in order to well, he didn't know he was becoming the alchemist, but he did because of the journey. So, so I think it's important with these two cards to understand that you need to stay determined in whatever it is that you know is correct and right for you um, on whatever path it is and whatever journey you're taking. This can be a whole internal transformational process going internally doing an internal journey to discover your alchemical abilities okay i think it's also important if you have a plan in place and your intentions are perfectly focused i think if there's any i think it's important to be prepared for any possibility um that could arise and just stay determined during that because throughout any transformational process throughout any new beginning with every blessing, there's a challenge, okay? And in every challenge, there's a blessing. But it's up to you to sort of, like, find that. Um, so, <laughs> that's coming through. Um, okay, the other thing that came is coming through is... You know what? There's another card. I can't remember which... 
I think it was like, it was a pick a card reading that I did yesterday. And I think it was number two, card number two. They, like a lot of the same cards are, have come out. I think the Shield Maiden was one of them. The Stag was one of them. And then later on in the reading, you've got the Rainmaker as well, which also came out. So maybe there's also a message for you in that reading that I did. Okay, so stay determined and move forward. Remember what I said, the, the arrow... Is about moving forward it gets pulled back a bit which can be those challenges but just to be pushed off to like m be projected words are not my friend <laughs> forward and with momentum okay but I'm really getting you need to be prepared and willing to move through any challenges see she's ready she's protected she has her sword she is willing and ready to to defend herself, to protect herself. Um, like I said, there's definitely something here about protection, but it's really about you affirming to yourself that you are divinely protected and guarded. There's something also about guidance coming through here. Um, okay, so moving on. The next message, the next card you got was the bee. I mean, this is actually called the summer card, but I'm seeing it as the bee. The bee is the symbol that's standing out to me now. And the animal guardian. Okay. So, both of these cards. So, this is... I don't know if you guys have noticed the similarities of, like, both of these. The blade and the arrow. They're pointing up. Okay. They're both, like, they're the same. They look the same. Both of these ladies are like facing the same direction okay they're both mimicking the same stance the bee now the bee and the animal guardian are like directly head on like facing forward there's something i don't know what it is but there's something about <laughs> okay if it comes up and i'll figure it out i'll let you know Okay, so the bee. Now, what I think about the bee is, I think the bee, what is so crazy about the bee is that it literally defies physics, okay? It it doesn't, it's, it's, it's like body weight is too big for these tiny little wings to actually carry this bee. It doesn't make sense. However, what is interesting is if you guys know anything about metaphysics or um, what is the word uh, what is it quantum physics quantum physics there's something called zero point energy okay and i i'm pretty sure that there's something about the way the bee moves its wings and the vibration that it creates okay that allows the bee to fly with this zero point energy now zero point energy is i think that that point of energy where anything is possible anything can happen um the bee is also a very 5d energy i think it can move through realms it can move through i know we're getting a bit esoteric here but it can move and shift through with its vibration and with the zero point energy no what is going on with my dog Sorry, sorry about that. With this energy, okay, it can move through dimensions. Okay, I think that's very important for you to know right now. And how it does that is it trusts its natural instincts, okay? Its, its, its innate abilities are what it uses in order to do this. It just trusts that it's going to fly, even though its body is a bit big, okay? Does that make sense? I hope that's making sense. And I'm really noticing like the golden energy of this. The golden, what does it say? Bask in the joy and light. Okay. There's something about this vibration and light energy. And like, I think this is about you. I think you need to understand your multidimensional 5D like abilities this is all about you and your alchemical nature okay trusting yourself and your own abilities to like shift through dimensions with vibration i hope this is i don't even 
I can't explain it, okay? <laughs> and that's the same thing here, okay? Again, it's like the... There's something about the wings, but this card speaks of trusting your abilities, trusting all the things. Now, I'm seeing all these animals as like different aspects of yourself, okay? One is, this is your multidimensional nature. This is who you are, okay? The bee is great, light of spirit, and light, it can, it's, okay. Anyway, there's something about you needing to use all the resources of your life, the cycles that you've gone through, um, the divine, again, with these antlers, uh, that it's going to be amplified. See how these antlers are actually, like everything else is like physical, physical, but the antlers are uh, like, um, what is the word? It's a little bit transparent. And that's speaking to me of like, actually that, that transparent, uh, um, it's like the, the unseen energy coming from your multidimensional self, from your higher self, from your source, like whatever that is for you, okay? So these are all aspects of yourself that you can harness in order to grow and trust in your own innate abilities to be a multidimensional being. Okay, so see how there's like the owl over here, Wings outstretched, wings outstretched is something about wings. I think in the reading I did yes readings I did yesterday, there was something about wings as well. Like anyway. Anyway, okay. So the owl represents your wisdom, things you've learned over time in order to help you have these natural instincts. The this uh is it a jaguar or a panther? I don't know, but it represents for me, your shadow. Now, your shadow isn't bad. These are these are moments in time where you've learned to like. I'm actually hearing like traverse through shadows, traverse through dark times, traverse and move through um, things that haven't always been so light. Okay, and the wisdom you've gained from that, and this amplifying energy that you have coming in from source right now. These are all aspects of yourself. Two, 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 two on the clock as I said that, okay, this is also with this little baby deer, um, I'm hearing, it's like also your, it's, it's like, I think your ability to remain soft and not let these things, these things that you've gone through haven't hardened you, you're actually using them to alchemize who it is that you're truly meant to be, okay, um, <laughs> In the physical world, though, that's what I'm hearing. Like, this is you transforming your 3D self into a multi-dimensional self in order to alchemize whatever it is that you're trying to, to create, okay? Again, there's definite... I'm also getting, like, a lot of God energy, okay? This is a guardian card. So I do think it's important to know that you, you like... that As well as these being all aspects of yourself, there's also... Uh, some of these aspects like this this uh, transparent energy is this things that you can't necessarily see with your eyes is a lot of this guidance um like spirit team energy backing you through this wanting you to take this step forward um i think there's also a certain amount of devotion and commitment that needs to take place um with this when like moving towards this side of yourself this part of yourself um, yeah, so I think you do have a lot to, to accomplish and work through, um, but like we said over here, there's a lot of planning that needs to take place in order to help you with this as well. Okay, so the next two cards you have, you have the Rainmaker, and you have the Oracle. Now, what was actually standing out to me is one, see, okay, so remember this, the, the, you're protected through this and you need to affirm to yourself how protected you really are. Then, the rainmaker, notice the wings, like all of these energetic wings, these multidimensional wings, wings of like, I'm hearing just like opportunity, okay, like that's what the rainmaker also represents, new physical tangible opportunities in the real world 
but how you're doing it is you're working on a multi-dimensional level in order to achieve this. So also from the oracle, what I'm getting here is, is this chick's eyes closed as well? No, okay. So there's something about the hand, the energy between the hands, this, this energy between the hands and the smoke coming out of here in this bowl, like I'm getting like in order for an alchemist to turn lead into gold, he has to make an a fire that never dies okay that needs to be the fire sitting inside of you but that's kind of this what i'm getting here with this bowl okay it's like you you're alchemizing remember there's okay <laughs> okay there's a couple things so one your energetic wings this this is um okay this is about this is your own personal independent this is very yeah okay i'm just gonna okay so what is coming through about your hands there's something very important about your hands and the image that i got okay your alchem your alchemical abilities in order to turn something into gold you know into perfection whatever it is for you is there's an exercise that you can do where you can like hold your hands like this and imagine creating an energy ball and imagine this ball as a golden ball. Okay. And imagine yourself and you like imagine yourself creating this energy in front of you, seeing it gold. And then eventually if you focus your intent enough, you will feel, you'll actually begin to like feel the weight of this, this thing okay in the like physical in a very physical way now there's something about this energy that you're creating within your hands that i think it's very important to like it's almost i'm almost seeing like your intention or whatever it is that you're trying to create being put in the center of this gold ball that you've created this golden energy ball and i think that's all about like and this golden ball is amplifying your intention it's creating it it is turning it from something basic into something amazing and that is all your energy it's your alchemical ability to take something with your hands using your energy and amplifying whatever it is the intention it is so i think a lot of this is about like your manifestation ability but not trying to do it so much in the physical but using your metaphysical abilities. Okay. And there's something about like trusting the magic. This is your own unique magic. Okay. That means you need to trust the shit. Okay. So that is it. That is like, that's what's being created in the hands. Yeah. And this is the energy that's being you know, it's almost like whatever it is you're trying to create, you're putting it in between your hands and you're alchemizing it into whatever it is that you're trying to achieve. Okay. I think also something that's super, super, super important for you. You, I think there's a sense of worry, like back to these, there's a sense of like limiting beliefs, worrying about like how it'll all come about and like how you're actually going to manifest it. But I think, I think you need to focus your energy on what it is you're trying to achieve and less on what it is you can't achieve. So I hope that resonated for you guys. I'm going to pull an angel guide card because your angel guides are totally around here. And let's get some guidance. And we got it. We got it. Ooh, la, la, la. Okay, you got. Take a step back. Oh my fudge, guys. Can you see this? going what he's doing here <gasps> and he's in this hood again like like this like you're the magician like you are a magician you are like i'm seeing this hood like you know like a magician that can like alchemize cool things like that is this okay that is what you're doing here this is what it is and i think take a step back means take a step back and get out your own way like you're in your own way you are your own problem your your own limitations that you're placing on yourself is what is stopping you from creating this alchemizing magic look at his face he kind of looks like he has this like cheeky little smirk on like he knows how powerful 
he actually is. Oh my word. And what I'm noticing, I know there's, sorry, like a glare on the cards. What I'm noticing is first, all this purple is reminding me of divinity and how your like power comes from your divinity to source, to the creator. Okay. That is how your power is getting amplified. And all this gold trimming, like the gold rim around everything here is like, the gold that we've been talking about. The gold that you're trying to make and alchemize. Well, well, well. Okay, I want to pull out one more card just because, like, it's the Taurus New Moon. And I have Moonology cards. And let's see what's coming. Okay, we've already got a card. Step out of your comfort zone. What is this? North Node energy. North Node energy is what you're moving towards. That's your destined and fated energy. That is where you're supposed to be going. Okay. I think it's time for you to just f be bold and make the first move. This also came through in one of the car one of the readings yesterday. Be bold and make the first move. Okay. Step out of your own way. Like, that's all about letting go of those mental constraints, those things that are actually confining you. Be bold. Take the first step on your destined and fated path. Fudge, guys. I love this reading. I really, really, really love this reading. Okay. And notice something. Okay. Just again, to reiterate. I usually have a plan and I like to have, like, I like to have a category for each card. I had no category. Yet. I had no plan. I just trusted what was happening. I also combined two decks, which I haven't done in a very, very long time. I combined two separate energies to create one thing. I think that's got to do with you combining your 5D self, like your, mm, your metaphysical self with your physical self to create and alchemize this thing. Please let me know if this resonated for you in any way. Please leave me a like. And subscribe if you haven't already. Otherwise, have an amazing day. Also, you can catch me over on Instagram. I haven't posted in a while, but I'm planning on changing that. But there's some great, great guidance messages there. I love to just sometimes just scroll through. Like I'll close my eyes and scroll through my feed and like put my finger on whatever comes up and that's usually a message for me for the day so i love doing that sort of intuitive stuff um but yeah thank you and have an amazing day taurus and set those fucking intentions and use your magical abilities and trust 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 okay <laughs> bye